YouTube, it's Marvish Jeanette, and I am back with another video. As always, first and foremost, all praises be to the Most High, who makes all things possible. Man, have I have the news for you all today. You already know I'm bringing this heat with these hot, hot, hot stocks. But before we can jump into these hot stocks, if this is your first time visiting with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so that each time I upload content, you'll be notified. Go ahead right now and spam the like button. And right now, in this moment, go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know that you are here. Give you a few moments, moment of silence to make that happen for me. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button, the bell notification button, the like button, and leaving me a comment. So, we got these hot stocks today, but before I jump into them, I have to give you all my disclaimer. In no way, shape, form, or fashion am I offering you financial advice. I'm simply letting you in on what I'm implementing in my life. If you choose to follow suit, you are more than welcome. So, still, the talk of the town is the great Dogecoin. I'm going to let you all in on what's been happening with this great coin. So for starters, we have been hovering over um, around in the same vicinity price-wise, somewhere between seven cents and the high 6.69, 6 .69, 6 cents, 6 7 maybe on the low end. But for the most part, I would say somewhere between 0 .06, um, 0 0.067 and 0 0.073. We've been in that area. So I feel like we are in a comfortable position. Uh, for the stock to just it's showing it's showing its stability um, and I feel like at any time it's going to start to increase I already know you asking me why do I feel like it's going to increase reason number one that I feel like it's going to increase is Elon Musk tweeted and I quote <laughs> bought some dogecoin for Lil X so he can be a toddler holder of course, I'll put the video in there, but you can see the little X right there where Elon has confirmed that he has a uh, cryptocurrency uh, from Dogecoin. So he's bought into Dogecoin. He confirmed it himself. So if the baby has some, I'm pretty certain Elon has some him, himself. So that's, that's, that's one reason because, you know, Elon, he has, he has this social media, uh, magnet where he just lures people in and he captivates them and they just start to invest in whatever he speaks about and because he has been like the one of the main leaders in this dogecoin movement that's why it's it's as stable as it is and that's why it's going to continue to rise you already know dogecoin started out as a joke and now people are taking it seriously um, the second reason why I feel like Dogecoin is going to be um, surging higher and higher is because Nissan, the dealership, is now accepting Doge as a form of payment. Isn't that something? When it comes to cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is king. However, there are a few new rising stars on the market, and one of them is Dogecoin. What used to be a joke of currency is now one of the hottest cryptos to buy since it recently shot up in value. But wait, why are we talking about cryptocurrency and Dogecoin all of a sudden? Well, that's because one dealership in the U.S. is now accepting Dogecoin as a mode of payment. We're not joking. Daytona Nissan in Florida, USA, now announced on their website and Facebook page that they are now accepting Dogecoin. The dealership recommends converting Dogecoin to USD due to its high volatility, but Dogecoin itself is as good as cash. Who would have thought that Dogecoin would be taken so seriously after it started out as a joke. You can get you a car with Dogecoin now. We got the toddler investing in Dogecoin now through Elon Musk, uh, not to mention the countless number of cele celebrities who have bought into Dogecoin, not to mention the countless number of everyday people 
who have do uh, bought into Dogecoin, who are holding fast to it, who are believing in it, who are not wavering. They believe that Dogecoin is, Dogecoin is going to hit a dollar. And I'm right there along with you. I believe that Dogecoin is going to hit a dollar. Even though it has its highs and its lows, it's like I said, it's been stable right where it is. Um, another thing that I want to touch on briefly, um, earlier this week, I mentioned in my video that um, to be, be on the lookout for a spy and according to the chart and I just want this is a I'm glad that it happened this way because I'm able to make this point so according to the charts spy should have been decreasing because it's been in an uptrend for so long and I understand that um with uh, Apple and Facebook and all of that. If it's trending, if it's uh, trading in a in a uh, in an uptrend, then of course spy would also be increasing. However, it didn't work that way. Uh, I saw that Apple and Facebook and others have also been like on a has have declined, and for some reason spy is steadily ri is steadily rising and um. That has just really baffled me um, because it just defied what the charts were saying. So SPY has still been increasing, but in this increase, we still have uh, we still get to look forward to that downtrend because we all know that it's coming because it's been trading uh, in an uptrend for too long. So it's gonna have that decrease eventually. It just didn't, has not happened as of yet this week. Tomorrow could definitely be different, but I just wanted to make that clear to you all um, that it did not it did not decrease, and that's one of the things about the stock market. You can see one thing, you can be certain in it. Others can you know validate it. They can be certain in it, but in the stock market, anything can go, and that's what I always say. Don't put money into it that you can't afford to lose, okay? So um, hopefully that made sense to you all. Always trade safely. Always be smart about what it is that you're going to buy. If you're going to just buy and hold stocks, of course, that's, that's okay. Um, it's not really a risk in that. But when you go to trading options, because once you buy that option, whether it goes uh, north or, or whether it goes south, well, I'll say if it goes south, You've lost that money. There is no getting back, getting it back. Whereas if you are just uh, buying shares of stock, if if the stock uh, price decreases, you still own however many shares that you own. You're just waiting for the price to rise. That's not the same in trading options. So eventually, we do have we do uh, have uh, to look forward to um, a put in spy because, it's, like I said, it's at some point it's definitely going to decrease. Um, we just have to be on the lookout for it and take advantage of it whenever it does transpire. So I hope that this video has been informative to you. I hope it has been uh, beneficial for you. If you have any stocks that you want me to look into, definitely leave me a comment below and I will look into it and possibly add it to my portfolio because I'm all about growing, growing, growing and making money. So. Um, until next time, well, before next time, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button so each time that I upload content, you will be notified. Spam the like button and leave me tons and tons of comments. Don't forget to share these videos with your family and your friends because they are going to continue to come. Until next time, may peace and blessings be unto you all. Thank you.